Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Right, so uh, now what we'll be doing is that we'll be covering the entire first day as it has been stated a number of time by everyone you know that this is the best resource for revision. All right, not only for INICT, but also as we have seen that uh, a lot of questions were in NEET PG as well and without a doubt for USMLE you have to study this book. So what we will do is that there are 100 pages that we have to read and if we do like 70 pages a week it will take just 10 weeks to complete the entire book. Right? So this is how I have planned for the uh, entire 10 weeks Right? how we will go about studying them. and. Uh, let me show you some of the uh, recent topics which were repeated this year in you know the central exams as well as the national level exams all right so here we can see that it is clearly written that the dna coils around the histone protein all right if you have read this once and you have highlighted the basic points you don't need to do you just need to sweep the pages and you will get right answers right here again this question was asked like what will be the demethylated form or deaminated methylated cytosine right so the answer is thymine right here it is clearly uh, written that deamination of cytosyl forms uracil and then methylation of uracil makes thymine so the answer was in this page only right then again autosomal recessive disorders like cystic fibrosis okay next question Cryducat it has partial aneuploidy right this was also asked this year only then this image was given in a recent exam and it was asked that is a uh, deficiency of vitamin A right another question they asked about G6PD deficiency right the enzyme deficiency and which is glucose uh, uh, 6 phosphate dehydrogenase and it is seen in what that is the HMP shunt right it was not asked directly it was asked in form of some question which we will see like it is given in uh, this book like in the later chapters and then again one more question inhibitor of complex 5 right uh, sorry it was not, uh, not complex 5 inhibitor of complex 4 which is cyanide again answer is here right then this glucose 6 PD deficiency what are the drugs that causes so you can see primer queen all right next we can see that the glycosomal storage diseases are given just in one page and this entire page is enough to know all the glycosomal storage diseases right and it is very useful especially when you uh, have to revise the entire syllabus in the last 10 days or so right so mccardell's disease what is the enzyme which is myophosphorylase all right then again there is another page for all the lysosomal storage diseases and uh, we know that two questions were asked from this page itself all right so these were some of the examples as we can see that you know around 10 to 12 questions have been directly asked from just one chapter right so 10 question means right around uh, 40 marks and 40 marks is a uh, what do you say great deal of marks that will you know boost your ranks in thousand thousands so yeah that is the plan and uh, i will be posting one video every week on tuesday and uh, uh, for 10 weeks there will be 10 videos which will cover the entire syllabus or at least the most important part which is always repeated and always asked in the previous exam that are the PYQs that will be covered right hope to see you on this journey and happy learning